Laco is one of these companies with a very old product and the ability to keep it fresh and somewhat timeless. The latest presentation now is the Laco Olive 39. Speciality here is the classic design of a German Flieger watch in combination with a PVD case finishing and a reduced size to 39 mm. So let's go over the specifications of the new Augsburg and Aachen German cities that stand here for the historic A and B dial. We have an automatic watch with a case diameter of 39 mm, length lug to lug is 46.5, height 12, lug width is 18 mm. The watch has a sapphire crystal, a see-through case and is powered by the Miota 812A movement. Waterproof up to 50 meters. And it comes on a riveted leather strap and the price is 440 euros including VAT or around 400 US dollars stated without VAT. Each version is limited to 250 pieces. Okay, first the dial. I keep the explanation of the A and B thing short, okay? We've heard this many times. So, B dial has a minute scale and a little hour scale inside. The A dial has only hours. The B dial looks more badass if you ask me and the A dial is better for daily use. They printed these dials this time not on black but on a very dark olive. In German, olive. And I love it. It dampens the contrast between loom and dial color just a little bit. It looks like a watch that was exposed to light a very long time. And in this case I personally would go with the B dial here because I like the percentage between old radium loom and olive here pretty much. And now the case. The older Augsburg and Aachen models came with 42 mm diameter, historically closer to the original and with a very authentic look on bigger wrists. But for many people a smidgen too dominant, so I think these 39 mm versions are a good addition. Next points are coating and aging. I think many watch lovers are not overly happy when they hear PVD and artificial aged because it sounds like yeah, fake, plastic, might look cheap, it might come off after a while, so no thank you. But there are exceptions and I think we see one here. PVD means physical vapor deposition. That means the coating material is transformed to a vapor and reaches as such the surface and the result can be an ultra tight connection. And look at this. This doesn't look old, this looks a bit more like gunmetal, like a tool and I find this very attractive in this genre. I could even imagine that the watch looks better when it's scratched. And by the way, if you want to see these watches here in the studio, then let me know in the comments please. I mean, I could contact Lago and ask them and maybe they, they lend me one or two watches for a review. Downside here is the ultra clean look of the Miota. I mean, who needs to see a basic Miota every day? Unnecessary, don't you think? And speaking of Miota movements, Laco offers upgrades. You can order the watch with the Miota 8315, which offers more quality. And you can order it with an anti-reflective sapphire crystal. Both upgrades cost 50 euros each, so around 55 US dollars. And I personally would go with that. The price for the basic version here is with 440 euros, really not that high. There is some room for improvements. Improvements. Dear Laco, in case you're watching this, a no logo version would be very nice. Last question. People ask me very often what's better, Laco or Stova. In my experience they're pretty equal. But of course you have to compare watches in the same tier, same price region. But both companies offer the look, excellent quality and a very good customer service. So I think you can just buy the Flieger watch of choice from both brands. Okay, and if you want to see an original Flieger from World War II, then follow the link in the upper right corner. And with that hint, I'd like to close this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much and see you next Monday to Watch of the Week.